So let's look at the molecular formula, structural formula, and skeletal formula called bond line for butanol. We're talking about N-butanol here. Sometimes it's just written butanol. Butanol is another name. So this is the molecular formula. It tells us how many atoms of each type we have. And note that OH on the end. That's because this is an alcohol. So when you have carbons, hydrogens, and then the OH, it's an alcohol. So the structural formula will have four carbons, nine hydrogens, and then an OH. And because it's a straight chain, or butanol, the OH will be on the last one, or on the first one, depending how you think about it. So this is the structural formula, and there you can see that OH group. That's the alcohol. What makes this an alcohol? Four carbons. And then we show in all of the hydrogens and all of the carbons. And if we laid a model over this, here's what it would look like. So this is the molecular model here for N-butanol. And you can see it lines up all the carbons. They line up. So the structural formula doesn't always really show you the molecular geometry there. If we want the skeletal formula, we're just going to draw lines between the carbons like this, here, 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 and then we'll put an OH on the end of that. And that's going to look like this. So for the skeletal formula, we don't draw the hydrogens or the carbons. So there'd be a carbon here, 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 and here. There is not one here. This is the OH, so no carbon on that end. So four carbons, just like we saw, and each carbon will be bonded to four things. So you could draw the hydrogens in. So each carbon bonded to four things there. But for the skeletal formula, we don't draw the hydrogens or the carbon. That's because we know carbons bonded to four things. So that's the molecular formula, structural formula, and skeletal or bond line formula for N-butanol, often called butanol, butan-1-ol, C4H9-OH. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.